First of all, the uh, 17th Amendment uh, is a very good amendment, and I believe Washington, D.C. has way too much power. They're abusing their power, and it should be turned back to the states and the community. But above all, a senator, if elected, should support, should not support, no matter the ethnic, the enticing payoff for any type of legislation and special interest policy that promotes industrial genocide and sends our basic industries to other nations. It has to be understood that entitlement legislation is economic plunder in some way, shape, or form, and will eventually destroy personal wealth and the nation's basic social, political, and economic structure and bounty. If a candidate is elected, if a candidate is elected under such an understanding that no matter the nature and intent of any so-called classified material, then the candidate should never violate his or her personal basic principles and support any type of un-American or collusive special interest legislation that violates national sovereignty. These types of schemes are always presented as some type of so-called national security policy. In other words, an individual should never uh, violate in the inalienable, inalienable rights, free enterprise, or the unshackled ownership of private property in some favor of some entitlement legislation as the past has so insidiously represented. And as a Special Forces United States Marine, I took an oath to uphold the 17th Amendment and all the other amendments in this nation. And I'm sure that every other Special Forces United States Marine has done the same thing. Thank you.